somehow a variation of this question always shows up on tests or finals in algebra. So I just want to get it straight. If we take the even root of something to that even power, it's going to be the absolute value of that variable. So the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x. Guess what? Fourth root of y to the fourth, as long as these guys match the fourth root and fourth power, and they're even, like four and four, or remember, if we don't have an index of the radicand, we assume it's two. So as long as these numbers match, it's going to be the absolute value of that variable under the radical. Does not hold for odd numbers. I didn't say odd. I said even, guys, even. So don't mess with me if you get the odd one wrong because you said, well, it's the absolute value. I didn't say that. I said absolute value. If it's even and they match, two and two, four and four. So guess what? Bonus, six root of z to the six. Guess what that is? Yes, yes, you're right. Absolute value of z. Good going.